Okay guys, so this video we're using as queryable once again. And we need as queryable because we need to sort with order by descending and order by. And remember, we can't use to list too early. We have to use to list after we get done doing our sorting so that it builds the SQL, sends it to the database, and we actually get this back in the form of a variable. So let's go ahead, let's hop inside VS Code very quickly. And I'm gonna put everything inside of the query object you could easily put this inside of the actual parameter and bust it up into individual little parameters, but I'm putting everything inside the query object because I think it looks a little bit better. So first things first, we're going to do a prop and we're going to go a uh, string and we're going to call this sort by because we need to be specific what we want to sort by. It really wouldn't make sense to just say sort every individual uh, column, if that makes sense. We're going to give it a null because a lot of times we don't want to sort. Um, then we're going to give it an ascending or a descending. Uh, don't make this optional. And we're going to say is descending, just like that. And let's go ahead, just for good measure, set it to false as default, although it's going to be false either way. But let's just be a little official. Next thing that we want to do is we want to go inside of our actual repository. We're not going to really mess with our interface. And <clears throat> what this boils down to is just creating another if statement so that when it actually passes in, it will trigger. Okay, then we're going to uh, have is or null or is null or white space. Go ahead, pass in the query, and we will say query sort by. So if there is this actual sort by value, it will trigger it looking good and we're going to go down go ahead throw some brackets in there and then we're going to have another if statement and this is what's going to actually trigger the column so we'll go query uh if sort by is equal to and you could put whatever you want to but i am going to say equals and we'll say symbol i am going to sort by the symbol for each individual column that you want to sort by, all that you do is you put another uh, you put another if statement in here to actually trigger it. And I'm going to say string comparison, and I'm going to say uh, ignore the ig ordinal case. And what this boils down to, this ordinal case thing, is if you have, ex I would say, exotic forms of Unicode. So Unicode that has a tilde, Unicode that has some type of foreign symbol in it. If you have those things, you're going to have to change this to something else. But in the case of most people, if you're just using regular English language or even just regular foreign language that uses uh, English Unicode or regular letters, you can get away with it. So that's what that is. So we're going to go is descending. And this is what's actually going to trigger the ascending or descending. And if it is true, if we do want ascend or descending what we're going to have is uh order by descending so we'll say order by descending and in our case or in my case i decided to sort based off of the symbol so i am going to pass in the symbol then we will have the colon and the colon is a ternary operator that's going to trigger if false so if it's false what we're going to have is just regular order by and the order by you just go ahead and put in the same thing that you put for the other one. So we're going to say symbol. Okay, looking good. And that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and let's test this thing. So go into here. And I'm going to do a cold restart just to make sure everything's working. And Swagger will pick it up and it'll be really easy. I'll show you guys what to do. So we are inside of Swagger right now. And I am going to go to the stock... And now we have, we can now search and filter by the symbol. We can do the sort by and we can do ascending or descending. And I'm going to search by symbol. And let's say we're going to set descending to true. So go ahead, go ahead and run it. And would you look at that? It is now descending. If we want to do ascending, so we'll go ascending, but ascending to false. And now we have Amazon, J and J, Microsoft, Tesla. So that is sorting. Next video, we're going to do pagination. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.